Action Sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew with clear elastic. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got a length of clear elastic and uh, I have done a video tutorial on different types of elastic. It's very similar qualities to a regular elastic that we're all more or less used to um, working with. The only difference with this, it does feel a lot smoother and it does feel a bit plasticky and it's very thin and when you are putting it into your garment or onto your garment it can be invisible because it has been referred to as invisible elastic. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of sewing um, clear elastic onto fabric. The first one is a woven fabric and the sec second one is a stretch knit fabric. On this one I'm going to sew it onto the fabric itself to give a kind of routine look and then when I'm using the stretch fabric I'm going to sew it into the seam. Clear elastic is a versatile elastic and can be used in many different sewing projects. For this example, I've got a woven fabric and working on the wrong side and what I want to create is a ruching effect. I'm going to be using a ballpoint needle and doing a zigzag stitch. I hope you can actually see my elastic and you can see why they call it an invisible elastic. So hopefully you should be able to see both sides of the elastic. Now I'm, doing, um, I'm using a zigzag stitch and before we actually start sewing the zigzag stitch, we just want to secure the stitching. So I'm going to do back stitch and then I'm going to raise my foot, make sure it's up in the needle fabric. Take that away, don't cut, because I want to be able to handle my work. So I'm creating a thread tail at the back, putting my needle back down so that it'll enable me to and put my needle down to keep it nice and firm as I actually stretch. So I've got a stretch on this side and then I've got a tail to guide you through the foot. And I'm just pulling both the elastic and pulling at the back of the machine as well. Let's do one more. Remember I can now hold my fabric, pull the elastic and keeping that balance make sure I don't break the needle and I do get the the um, the ruching effect that I want. Now there we have my ruching effect. This is on the right side and here's the right side the wrong side so now you can see hopefully you can see the elastic looks a bit better and I'll just pull that so you can see the zigzag stitching. Now um, working with clear elastic I think other than working with your regular elastic it's a lot more lightweight and there's not as much cord or bulk that's there and that's probably one of its best advantages. For example I'm working with stretch fabric and I'm sewing it into the seam and um, what I've done is I've lightly pressed the seam just to give me uh, a better control when I actually take it to a sewing machine. The next thing to do is working with the the stretch in your elastic will de determine your measurements. So I've actually gone for an inch, which is 2.5 centimetres, increments all the way down. And on my fabric, um, I've done it two inches, which is five centimetres. So I've slit slightly into the seam. I hope you can see that just there on the edge, two centimetres, 2.5 all the way down. Right, it's going to be easier for me to show you on my work surface what I need to do at the sewing machine. So once I take it to the sewing machine, I insert the elastic into the seam and then I'm going to secure the end and hopefully you can see these red marks here. When I am actually sewing, I'm going to be stretching it to meet the mark in my fabric. So I'll hopefully get that as I'm sewing. Again, I've got my work under my foot. I'm going to revert, do a reverse stitch. And then I'm going to have my needle up, my foot up, bring out the thread. Do not cut. This is just for me to manage my sewing. So I've got a bit more control. And then put it back into the position. My needle down. That helps to stabilise. Stop the fabric and the elastic from moving, put my work into the seam and I'm ready. Now I've got my thread tail there. Now I need to stretch it, my, my first red mark to the little opening 
and um, you may not be able to see this but I can actually see my slit that's in my fabric so I'm going to be pulling my elastic to make sure it actually meets up with the slit that I've put in the seam and it can be it can be a little it can be a little bit tricky but it is worth it the end result and also because I've got the camera on me I'm not kind of sitting as um, straightforward on my machine as I would like I've got that there forefinger right so I'm happy now yep yeah, feel comfortable now start sewing a zigzag stitch I'm pulling from behind and I'm also pulling at the front and there we have it clear elastic sewn into a seam of a stretch fabric and as I actually feel it does feel as though there's nothing in there and that is really the best quality about using clear elastic um, as with using regular elastic and clear elastic there can be a little bit, little bit of a battle when you take it to a sewing machine because obviously you're working with the stretch of the elastic and having that control. So hopefully you'd make sure you use both your hands to control the back of your work and also the front of your work. Now if I just stretch this, you can see where I struggled a little bit. So I've stretched it out and if I do it on the wrong side, you can see there where I've actually lost a little bit of control. So that can happen if you take your eye off the ball, which I did. I hope that you found this video tutorial of help and that I've explained the virtues of using clear elastic. Don't forget to subscribe to my Fashion Sewing Blog TV and click the subscribe button, which I think is here, for more free weekly fashion sewing tutorials. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below.